Huawei has unveiled Harmony OS Next, a game-changing operating system built entirely on Huawei's own tech, featuring the Harmony kernel, Panguia model, and Kanji programming language. It's a bold step away from Android, with a focus on native apps. But here's the twist, Android apps are still making a surprise appearance. A Reddit discovery by a beta tester has revealed the secret. The Easy Abroad emulator. Found in Huawei's app gallery, this tool creates a virtual Android environment, allowing users to run popular apps like YouTube, Facebook, Gmail, and even Netflix. How it works. Android container. Apps run within a dedicated space. App store inside emulator. Download Android apps directly, but they stay confined to the emulator's folder. Smooth performance for most Android apps. Convenient for accessing Google Mobile Services, GMS, abroad. But, limited compatibility with GMS heavy apps. Notifications may be inconsistent. Some apps won't install or function due to restrictions. The arrival of Easy Abroad is a game changer, offering flexibility to users who want the best of both worlds. Huawei's cutting edge Harmony OS Next and Android app access. But will Huawei double down on this workaround or focus entirely on native apps? Is Harmony OS Next the future of mobile OS? Are you excited about this innovative bridge for Android apps? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech news. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay blessed.